Hi there. I stayed up until one o'clock last night trying to figure out how to present to WebEx where I was able to have something that seemed like a whiteboard function where I could write down some of the things that people were saying uh, and run the presentation while appearing on the screen at the same time. Because WebEx, like many of those conferencing software, usually give you one choice or the other. And most of the training solutions just focus on putting a PowerPoint presentation or something on the screen that you click through while listening to the person's voice. Now, some people have fantastic voices and are very engaging. I don't find it a very engaging format. So I was looking for something that did a little bit more effectively. And what I found is an interesting way where you can do what I'm doing now, which is appear on screen in a way that also makes it you can write on the screen as well. So if you want to write down things that people say while also being able to switch back and forth to a presentation mode. Uh, it took me a lot of figuring out. So I thought I'd help you, save you some time and um, help, help you who are less technologically inclined than me. Uh, this solution will require, um, if you want to do the writing on screen, it will require a tablet of some sort. I've got the Microsoft Surface Go. Um, any any stylus or, or pen software would work. In fact, you could potentially do it with out, just using one PC to do the whole thing, um, I'll, I'll be able to explain a bit about how that might work in a moment. So if you'd like to do this, first step is how to get yourself on screen with the green screen. I'm going to switch which display I'm showing you now so you're able to see my main display and see what I'm looking at right now, which is my own beautiful mug. Uh, now to get uh, to, to do this, I'm using Logitech Capture, which, which is some software that comes with this webcam. Um, there might be other software that works for other webcams. I'm just going to talk you through the Logitech software, the Logitech Capture software, which creates what's called a virtual camera, which is something that can be pumped into WebEx. For that, I then, uh, you then have this option of two displays. If you can see where my mouse is going back and forth there. The first display I've set is the ProStream webcam, which is a webcam I'm using. And uh, I've got it set with the chroma key on. Normally what you'd see is just this, which is just my screen all over, um, uh, my, my face all over the screen and a green screen behind me. To get rid of the background, you are going to need some green cloth or something like that. They sell them fairly cheap on Amazon. There are bits of software that can do it without using a green screen, but they don't work very well in my opinion. You can get one of these, which is just a, a, a green sheet that's hung from the ceiling or... Um, or uh, there, there are ones that are sort of fold out ones that, that, that fold away really not nice and neatly. You have that behind you. The other key thing here is I don't know if you can tell how bathed in light I am. I've got pretty much every light source I can find in a house pointed at my face right now because you don't want too harsh shadows behind you and you also want to be brightly lit in front. Then uh, what you'll do is once you've got that going, you can see my um, mouse here is going down to turn on the chroma key background, chroma key being, being the bit that makes all of that green disappear and makes everything that is not the green um, appear, but all of the green disappears. So it's now my face in front of a background. That's how you do the first bit. Down here, you can see is the option where I can choose between just the monitor with no my face, just my face, or picture-in-picture -picture options. The picture-in-picture -picture option is one, which is the webcam in front of two, which is the desktop background. That's how to get yourself and your face on screen. Next, you want to be able to present and use the whiteboard function. I've done a slightly more confusing way of doing this, which I'm going to walk you through, and then I'll take you through the slightly simpler, but in my opinion, less effective way of doing it uh, after that. What I have is my Surface uh, Go set up to pre to project to my main PC, which is what I was showing you a moment ago. So that second screen is, if I show you what's on the main the screen of my um, tablet, that's what's on the main screen of my tablet right now. To get it to project to your main screen does require a little bit of finicking. So what first step is, if I go back to my main display. First step is, I'm going to move myself to the side because what you want to see is down here in the corner, you can see this little thing that looks like a speech bubble that's got focus assist on. One of the things you want to go to is switch this so it's off. You don't want focus assist on because it won't ping you with the message that somebody wants to use your desktop. And then down to connect. Click on connect and it'll start looking for devices. You're ignoring that bit for now. What you want to do is go down lower to projecting to this PC because by default, this projecting to this PC bit isn't available everywhere. So I set it to available everywhere. You can set it to secure networks. And if you're on a secure network, my belief is that will work. I'm not on a secure network. So I set it to available everywhere. Ask to project to this PC. As you can see, I've got that set to first time only. So the first time I say, can I please project to the main screen? It asks me, but subsequent times after that, it'll just start pro projecting straight away. 
away. I'm not asking for a pin and I don't have this set to on, which is you can only project to it when it's plugged to a power source because this is a desktop PC and will never be able to be on and not plugged into a power source. If you're running from a laptop, you might want to select that so that the moment your power cord becomes unplugged, it doesn't kill the connection. Once you've got that set up to accept the projection, what you need to do on your uh, tablet, if you want to use this whiteboard function, is basically the same thing. So you'll go down to this corner down here, you'll click on that, you'll click to connect, and at connect it will start looking for available things. Now, you'll see there it's got the beast. It's already connected for me now, but if it's not... Um, Actually, let me show you what it looks like when it's not. So that disconnects. Now you're now going to see what I do have on that monitor, but not on this tablet here in front of me. They're now showing something different. On the tablet, similar to what you had before, you've got those options over to the side of the screen. So what I'm doing is clicking on Beast, and then that will connect to the device. It'll take a few moments to get set up, and then you can see here the screen goes blue, spends a bit of time sorting itself out while I slide from one side of the screen to the other. And now it's showing what's on my tablet screen. To get the whiteboard effect, slide myself back across now, you want to be looking at this little button in the corner here. Oh, and a notification just popped up, do you want to accept clicks and inputs? That means if you want to use your mouse on your main screen, do you want it to accept clicks on the tablet? I would suggest don't do that because I found my cursor got trapped on the wrong screen and wasn't able to get back to the main screen and I need to be able to get back to the main screen to use all of WebEx's functionality breakout sessions and ask questions and do all of that stuff. So I say no, don't accept inputs, I just use my pen on the surface screen. So now on the pen on the surface screen to get this whiteboard, I'll just kill it so you can see what it looks like when it starts up. I'll kill everything actually. Now for this, click on that pen open the whiteboard. There's two functions. There's also another thing that's called Microsoft Ink. As far as I can tell, they're much of a muchness. Both seem to do pretty much the same thing. And that's where your main uh, whiteboard will come up. The reason I like this one rather than the ink one is I'm able to pinch to zoom to, to orient that. And I'm also able to, if I want to move that around, uh, write, uh, draw, do whatever so I can write down what delegates are saying if they're giving me answers I want to talk about how they can restructure what they're saying or something like that I've got the ability to type that in with a text tool you can see there's an option for text there I find it just much easier to write as if I would ordinarily on a flip chart or a whiteboard that um, I found has been you know fantastic really really useful then to uh, same as you would any other way if you wanted to run a presentation just open it same as you ordinarily would and keep that on the main screen, setting it already to presentation mode. Only bit of guidance I have for you regarding that, um, the uh, whiteboard is, just be sure you've deleted everything off the whiteboard because much like a real whiteboard, if you go back into running a new session and you haven't deleted what was in the old session, all of that stuff will be on the screen. It's you know it's not going to ruin anybody's day, but it might, um, might just sort of... Uh, influence how you how you run whatever you're talking about so oops i shouldn't be showing that um so so then that if you have that full screened can work there and then you just use the tabs down the bottom to click back and forth between that and the whiteboard which will also show up I hope you found this uh, useful. It's, it took me a lot of working around to, to get this working with the whiteboard solution there. Now to explain how you do it without a whiteboard. You can throw this thing away. You don't even need it. Uh, what you could do is, if I go back to sharing my main display, you could just do the same thing down here. If you want that ink thing, you go click, uh, right click on the bottom part here and then show touch keyboard button, Win Windows Ink Workspace, which will show up that swirly, if you can see just down there, that's that sw pen with a swirly thing on it. Same thing, you can show the whiteboard on your main screen. Uh, so you can do this potentially with one monitor. I've got three running it. Um, you can do this with just one monitor, but you're going to have a lot more clutter on the screen. It's going to be a lot more confusing, and you're not going to be able to write with your pen. You'd have to do it with your mouse uh, unless you've got a graphics tablet. So we there is a workaround to be able to do that. Here you can see how I might be able to get that to present. Uh, so that's, uh, as it's loading up now, you'll be able to see it um, in just a moment. So that is, is that going to work? I just need to make sure that's actually going to work before I tell you that's how you do it.
Um, just, that's not really how I do it. Ignore the green numbers there. That's just telling me frame rates I get mostly for gaming. Not really <laughs> useful for this stuff. Anyway, that's gone 10 minutes. You get the idea. That's going to turn into a, a Microsoft whiteboard if it's working properly. I'll give it one, one extra go uh, before I give up on that as a possibility. Oh, I see. I've got to accept your policies, do I? Right, get started. Next. Yeah, sure. Send diagnostic data of how terrible your software is and how it never works. So then uh, you should be able to, yeah, write as you ordinarily would, but um, it is hard with a mouse uh, to get those nice, that nice handwriting. That is how you present with a whiteboard to a um, to a screen. As you can tell, uh, it's it's um, takes a bit of finicking and getting used to, but it is really useful. I found it much more engaging. I had a lot of people engaging with the chat and the number of people that seemed like they were off doing something else instead of listening to my dulcet tones and looking at my beautiful face. Seemed uh, it seemed like a huge improvement. Hope you found that really useful. You got any questions, or if you found another workaround or solution to get that to work with WebEx or any software that doesn't do that picture in picture please let me know otherwise hope you found it useful enjoy the quarantine and the coming apocalypse